Hey, what's up, everyone? We're back playing some Pharmacy Simulator. Let's get started. All right, there goes another day. Day 21 at the Big P. Now, I've got pretty much everything stocked. I've got uh, more things out here. I think I'm going to do the classic, just kind of let it roll. And I'll probably be back in a little while. And maybe we'll get rolling on those green scripts. We just kind of top off everything. I think we're pretty much good, though. Okay, everyone, we keep talking about the warehouse, but I think it's maybe time to put something inside of the warehouse. So we have these racks and they're fairly cheap actually. So let's go ahead and buy a few and let's move them into the warehouse. Now, did I just waste a good bit of money? Probably. Currently in the game, there isn't anybody that you can hire to actually move things out of the warehouse. So essentially, the only thing the warehouse does is hold boxes for you at a distance, so it takes forever to get there and back. So, I, I mean, I hate to say this, I mean, the game just came out, but like, the warehouse is essentially useless. I would much rather leave my boxes of meds just outside of my front door, that way I can grab them super quickly. I know inside of the warehouse they have that little trolley thing that you're supposed to put meds on and bring them all over, but that's just not realistic. With the amount of meds that we're selling, it just wouldn't make any sense. You're essentially just making an extra trip, buying everything, moving it to the warehouse, just to have to move it back? I, Again, because we don't have a stocker, it's a little bit of a weird feature. I'm not actually sure why we don't have stockers. I mean... To be fair, there's so many problems with the shelf are shelves already in the first place that I guess I'm not surprised that we don't have stockers because we first we just need to get the shelves to work. That's like priority number one. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, so, OK, we got some racks in the warehouse. Is that going to do us any good? Probably not. But I think what it might be nice for if I accidentally order too much of a single med, I can kind of just throw the extra meds in there just to you know make it the place look a little nicer also things like extra paint extra tiles all of those things it's going to be pretty useful to have that stuff in there but honestly giving more money to a second warehouse would essentially just be like buying nfts uh yeah that'd come back with a zero dollar return okay everyone i'm just doing my thing i'm chilling and i think we have a major problem the customers are stuck. I can't end the day because there's still customers here, but for some reason, Karen, acting like a real life Karen, is not serving these people. She's just standing there not doing anything, and I think I might have to completely restart my game to fix it. Oh, I've heard really bad things about people restarting their games, especially when they're stuck. Uh, there's horror stories and the discussions on like the steam forums of a lot of bad things happening including medication switch ups on the shelves so praying to god that i don't run into that but let's go ahead and restart the game hopefully it fixes it i think it'll definitely fix my patient problem but i'm very curious to see what else it does let me just go ahead and throw out these boxes Okay, I mean, the patient's gone, so that's good. But is anything else broken? Let's go ahead and go to the next day, and then we'll see. Profit of minus 561, but that's okay, because we're kind of still working at it, buying new things, so that's fine. I still have $700 to my name, so I can't complain. I hate to say this, but my worst reality has come true. Look at the shelves. Because I had to save and quit because of the customer glitch, uh, the thing happened where all of the medication on all of my shelves just gets switched around and put in random places. And because that happens, 
the like, I, I don't know what's with the game but i don't know if it's like the code or something but basically a, a medication gets put in a place where it's not supposed to be then the game is confused about which drug is supposed to be there essentially not letting me put any other drugs in the place that it used to be in I don't know if that makes any sense, and I don't know if that's how, what's going on, but the, the point still stands. What happens is all my medications are now in random places, and no matter what I do, if I take the medications on or off, sometimes I can't even take them off, I can't put anything back in that place because the game won't allow me to. Uh, so I don't know what to do at this point. I mean... So far, any bugs that we've experienced have kind of just been minor, like, nuisances, but this is essentially game-breaking because I only have a limited amount of space for shelves, and this just breaks shelves. You know, it wouldn't be as annoying if I could just take the drugs that were put in the wrong places and just take them off and put them back in the right place. That'd be like, okay, that's fairly annoying. It'll take a couple hours to fix, but the game moves on. But this actually breaks the shelves. You can't put things back in place. And as of this moment, we still can't sell the shelves either. So this is just a... I mean, it's really a, a death loop here. I can't buy more shelves because that costs money and I don't have enough space. But I can't get rid of the shelves. And the shelves that I do have, I can't put medications on, meaning I can't make money. And I can't make money to buy more shelves. And I can't buy more shelves because I don't have any space. You guys see why this is such a pretty fundamental, gigantic problem. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to try and fight through it. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and buy new shelves. I still have space that I can work with. I'm going to fight through it in the hopes of... Maybe the developer fixing this in the next couple of days or a week, and then we can continue on rolling like nothing ever happened. So that's the goal. I'm just going to keep playing. I'm going to keep pushing through it. I'm just going to stock wherever possible. Uh, and uh, I'm feeling my jumps here. I will say, although the medication shelves are completely busted, the product shelves are not. I haven't seen these shift around at all. So that gives me hope that it might just be a minor code error or something that can be easily fixed. Because again, the products do not break. But the products are also different because nobody grabs... Well, the customers automatically grab them. The pharmacist doesn't have to. Well, either way, I can make money from the products. The medications are going to be a little harder, but hey, look, we have to take the wins sometimes in life. Do you know what I mean? Let's try to stay positive here, right? At least the products are not broken. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and maybe do the stupidest thing that we could possibly do and might lead to total bankruptcy. I want to take out the biggest loan possible and then just buy the licenses that we're missing for the vitamins, the supplements, and the prescriptions because now we do have them unlocked. Oh, this is going to be bad. Okay, I did it. I just took out that much money. Like, oh, that was... Pro okay, you know what? Let's just think positively, okay? Let's just buy the red prescription for 3,500. And now we have 2,500 left to go ahead and buy the vitamins and the supplements. Let's take a look at these red drugs though. Opioid analgesic, ADHD. Yeah, dude, these are all like $1,000. I really can't be buying any of those. So let's look at these exams, vitamin. Let's go ahead and take it for a thousand dollars. Which vit? Oh, oh, this is hard, bro. Do I not get? Do I lose my money if I fail this test? Oh, I'm gonna have to study, bro. No way. I have, I have to study outside of pharmacy school. Oh boy. Oh, I just got a twenty percent, and I did just lose all my money. Oh, that sucks for me. I mean, we take it again, right? I just go back and do a little studying. Or 
answer some Google. Okay, let's start with the first one. Which vitamin is abundant in carrots? All right, let's take a look. Are second only to sweet potatoes as an excellent source of beta carotene or vitamin A, which is for healthy skin, bones, and teeth. I know one of the big things about carrots, I think every mom said this growing up, but you got to eat more carrots for your eyesight. Apparently, they maintain good eye health, but won't improve your vision if your vision already sucks, like me. And I'm just going to put this out there, but any food with vitamin A will help maintain your vision. It doesn't have to be just carrots. Okay, question number two. Which vitamin is obtained from red meat? All right, let's take a look. Red meat provides us with iron, zinc, and B vitamins. Meat is one of the main sources of vitamin D. All right, so what is vitamin B12? It helps keep your body's blood and nerve cells healthy and helps make DNA genetic material of all of our cells all right <clears throat> i like meat all right question number three which vitamin boosts the immune system i did not spell that amazingly okay <clears throat> so vitamin c so citrus fruits strawberries tomatoes broccoli spinach helps regulate lymphatic cells t b cells natural killer cells okay b6 e a d what are our options here? Vitamin D, vitamin B12. Okay, I'm thinking it's, yeah, it's probably vitamin C here, including A, C, D is important for proper immune functions. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and go with C. All right, next question. Which vitamin is important for hair health? Let's take a look. So our options are B9, C, B7, and D. Okay, vitamin B and zinc play a role in hair follicle health. <clears throat> okay, but does it say which D? Or is it maybe just vitamin D? Okay, so it's in things like grains, fish, eggs, nuts, leafy vegetables. Okay. Biotin. Okay, uh... Biotin. Okay. I think B and, vi and biotin... Okay, so vitamin B and biotin seem to be really big. So we're going to go with vitamin D on number four. Okay, this might... Okay, this might be the only one that I actually know, but uh, which vitamin is abundant in citrus fruits? And I'm going to say it is C, right? Yeah, vitamin C are rich in citrus fruits, maintain healthy skin, bones, blood vessels, and connective tissues because... This is like, if anybody knows any vitamin, it's this one because of the whole scurvy and pirates, right? It's because they had a lack of vitamin C in their diet. Because, of course, when you're on month-long voyages at sea, you can't bring things that go bad. So fruits and vegetables are basically out of the question. Oftentimes, they just had uh, things that I think were either pickled or brined, a lot of salt. Um, and then I don't know if this if I'm thinking of like the Civil War or something, but things like hardtack. So, you know, easy to preserve uh, carbs, things like that. But yeah, vitamin C, a lack of it causes scurvy. So um, I, what, what was the like, uh, was there like a study or something? I don't know. Was it, but basically like pirates before they left, they usually had vitamin C. So it just like it took a while for them to develop scurvy later into the excursion. So what is scurvy? Let's take a look. So scurvy is a disease caused by, it can lead to a number of symptoms, including weakness, fatigue, decreased red blood cells, gum disease, change in the hair, bleeding from skin, body aches, swelling, bruising, internal bleeding, rotten breath, and loosening teeth. All right, which vitamin can we get by drinking milk? Let's take a look. I'm sure milk has a lot of things. So this question, might be a little hard. So K, C, D, B6. Hmm. Okay, so there's vitamin A and D, which are fat-soluble vitamins. B okay, so there is a little B12 in there. But uh, Wait, but our option is B6, never mind. Riboflavin, thiamine, iodine, potassium, calcium. Okay. But what is the big one, though? Potassium, B12, and D. Okay, so I'm thinking it might be D here. So C would be citrus stuff, vitamin K, something else. Vi okay, so I'm going to go with vitamin D here is most likely. All right, number seven, which vitamin 
towards the immune system in winter. I'm going to assume this is probably vitamin C again because we already talked about how vitamin C supports your immune system. So during the winter, you'll want to be eating a lot of fruits and vegetables to keep up your immune system. This will help you stay away from the colds and the flus and all that stuff in the winter that can kind of get you. Alright, question eight. Which vitamin speeds up the healing of wounds on the skin? Let's take a look. Vitamin A, C, and Zinc. So we have A, C. Okay, so we have both vitamin A and C on here. Okay, so yeah, vitamin C, once again, is just overall collagen and protein synthesis. A helps with wound healing. I think vitamin A, okay, I think the vitamin C is more of like an immune thing. I think what the question is really looking for is vitamin A here. Yeah, it helps control inflammatory response, epithelial and bone tissue development. Okay. Yeah, okay, here too. All right, let's go with vitamin A. <coughs> All right, which vitamin is found in abundance in fish? Okay, what is fish filled with? Vitamin D. Okay, fatty fish, best dietary sources of vitamin D, along with A and in, in fish liver oil. Okay, so they probably mean, yeah, so D and B2, which is riboflavin, but on here it's B12, not B2. And there is a difference between B12 and B2. I mean, I feel like that's obvious, but some people would just be like, that's ah, one. <laughs> <laughs> one number does it really matter all right last question which vitamin supports red blood cell production all right <clears throat> so it looks like vitamin b12 is that an option ding 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 all right i think we're gonna go with vitamin d12 d12 no, i'm thinking of the wrapper bro b12 can be found in meat poultry selfish eggs dairy products and fortified breakfast cereals all right, let's start on the supplements. Which food contains more calcium? All right, so potatoes, cheese, bread, and apples. So I'm going to assume so dairy, fish, greens, and fruits. So we're going to go and rule out potatoes. And we're going to rule out bread. So it's apple or cheese because dairy is cheese and apples are fruits. According to this, milk has the largest amount of calcium, so we're going to go ahead and go with cheese. All right, number two, which structures are amino acids, the building blocks? Of? And really, um, I should know this, and I actually do. It's proteins. Uh, let's see if I can find any. Yeah, proteins are composed of long chains of amino acids linked together by peptide bonds. Yeah, this is also something we kind of learned pretty early on. Uh, in honestly, even undergrad and most just basic, you know, biology lessons, you really should know this. All right, question three, which supplement is more suitable for those looking to gain weight? And I'm going to go ahead and assume what is one of the things is a gainer. So I'm going to, oh, and uh, if I sound a little, if my cough sound a little like I have like a disease, I just got back from running and my lungs hurt. So I'm a little, you know, I'm drinking my water. I'm trying to be healthy. Maybe I need some gainers. But yeah, I think we're going to go with weight gainers here. It just makes the most sense. Okay, question four. Which foods contains more carbohydrates? And this one is also pretty simple. I'm just going to go ahead and say rice. But let's say, or let's see what. This. Meat, chicken. Yeah, because look, sausage, meat, and chicken are all protein. They're meat. Rice has to be the correct option here. Yeah, lentils, oatmeal. Yeah, I'm, it's going to be rice. Question five. Which type of supplement is generally used to wreck that bad boy? Omega-3 acids, branched amino A, so BCAAs protein okay so what do we got pre-workout no because that's used before gainer no protein okay so i'm gonna assume it is the bcaas here because omega-3 acids aren't mentioned all right which macronutrients do gainers 
usually contain? So I'm going to assume it's probably protein and fat. Carbs, protein, and fats. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Carbs and protein. Oh. Hey, but see, gainers, I would assume that fat is the most important. Uh, proteins, carbs, and fats. All right, so it's either carbs and protein or protein and fat, because it technically contains all of them. Which fruit contains the most vitamin C? And in this case, <clears throat> this is also kind of obvious, bananas are mostly known for potassium. Apples and oranges are very likely. Grapes really aren't citrusy. And apples actually aren't really that citrusy, so it's, it's going to be an orange in this case. And again, it's kiwis, bell peppers, broccoli, pineapple. Yeah, it's going to be oranges. Look, just like uh, from League of Legends, Gangplank, he's always, you know, he's always eating them oranges. Alright, when to take pre-workout supplements? <clears throat> I wonder, before before I sleep, after exercise, or... Oh god, my lungs. <clears throat> okay, it's obviously before exercise, come on, guys. Right, which suitable... It's BCAA. Oh my god, okay, let's see. What, 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 hello? What is BCC, BCAA most suitable for? All right, my typing is atrocious. Muscle growth and exercise performance. So muscle repair and growth. Yeah. Yep, we're going to go with B. All right, last question. What does creatine help increase? Take a look. <clears throat> help increase muscle mass, strength, and growth. So speed, sleep quality, mental focus. Yeah, it's going to be muscle strength. Like we didn't talk about that was in every single question is vitamin k so where do you get vitamin k from these things now what does what does vitamin k do because i know this is was one of the big things we learned about with vitamin k it is important in blood clotting so it helps the liver produce proteins that cause the blood to clot this is something that um, we do have to know as pharmacists because there are certain medications that actually work off of vitamin k so, what's the biggest example of that? A medication called warfarin. It is a very, very common anticoagulant, and it is a vitamin K antagonist. So, that blocks vitamin K's ability to make clotting factors. Again, warfarin. This is one of the <clears throat> most commonly used anticoagulants everywhere in the world. It's one of the oldest, one of the, I would say one of the best, but there's new DOACs that are much better. And, have, you know, anyway. This is important to know. The last thing I want to talk about is how we classify vitamins. So this is another thing that you learn the first second you jump into pharmacy school. There are fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins. The fat soluble is ADKE or ADEK and then all the B's and C's are water soluble. Now what does this mean? This means that the water soluble vitamins are a lot easier to get rid of because they're water soluble. You can pee them out if you take too much, but the fat soluble vitamins can be toxic. The water soluble are easily excreted from your body and not easily stored in tissues. The fat ones do not dissolve in water and are stored in your body. So if you take too much of A, D, E, or K, you're more likely to have problems. Okay, 90% on this one, passing. All right, now we both got our vitamin and supplements license. We can start selling these. I'm heavily in debt and heavily depressed, but at least I got my supplements. So I can go in and take some creatine to help me feel better. All right, so I think of it officially, we've got everything in the game. All the drugs, all the supplements, all the cosmetics, we're maxed. Now we just need to get out of debt, buy some more shelving. Hopefully the devs will fix the shelving. And I think we'll be uh, we'll be pretty much rolling here, but yeah, let's see how much I can buy store. Let's go to the supplements, and vitamins. Maybe we could buy a few of these vitamins. They're only sixty. They're not even that expensive. I have three hundred. I know I'm adding a whole bunch to my cart. I likely won't be able to buy all of these, but yeah, it's gonna cost it, to get all the vitamins. It's gonna cost me a a pretty penny, dude. But let's just get a little bit. So, where can I put these? Do they go on the pro... Okay, they don't seem to go on the product shelves. What about medications? Okay, they don't seem to go on the medication shelves either. Um, 
Oh, they probably have a special shelf, don't they? Let's go to the store. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, supplement stand and vitamin stand. Okay, so I'll need specific things for those. Now, this is good and bad. This means we have a chance of these not being broken, at least, which could be pretty stellar here. Made a little bit more money. Let's go ahead and buy a vitamin stand because I already bought all the product. I might as well put it up and... Now, I wonder how much room this has and how many vitamins I'll actually be able to put up. Okay, so... Hey, that's actually... That's a lot of storage space, especially for vitamins. I might... I just might be able to get all the vitamins <clears throat> in like two shelves, which really isn't that bad. And stocking is going to be nice and easy because it's just one box per three spaces. Also, the boxes are very nicely labeled, so it's kind of hard to miss like where you're going. It's just nice and thick and white, just, you know, So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and finish putting all of these vitamins where they should be. And then maybe we'll also give... The supplements a world maybe we can buy a shelf or two and just buy a few of the supplements because again i'm very curious about how the shelf looks how big it is and how many of the supplements it can store because usually supplements are in very gigantic bottles we're a little lucky with these vitamins because they're kind of small um i think the game is broken it says the average price is zero i mean it's recommending 8.4 though but see, that's the average market price isn't zero, so my total profit isn't 8.4. So I'm actually a little confused. I mean, the game is telling, is like advising me to do 8.4. So maybe I'll just do 8 for now because it. Oh, but see, this one has an average market price of 6. This one has an average market. So that's weird. All of these have different average market prices, even though I buy them. For the exact so some of these are more profitable than others in a way okay that's kind of interesting i wouldn't have expected that for some of the different vitamins to actually be more profitable than the other ones especially considering they're all the exact same price all right let's take a look at the supplements i've saved up a little bit more money so let's go ahead and buy a couple of supplement shelves and couple more vitamin ones too probably yeah like as usual i probably spent a little bit more money than i should have but uh you know who's here to stop me the game's broken anyway might as well just make stupid decisions honestly i think more than likely we're just gonna go bankrupt and that's another thing i actually want to explore <clears throat> it says that you know i get foreclosed in a certain number of days because i have a certain amount of debt i don't think i'm gonna be able to get out of debt considering like where i'm at here yeah, foreclosure in six days. I don't know if I can get out of debt. So, honestly, maybe we'll just try to make as much money every single day, buy things like the stands, and then accumulate as much debt as humanly possible, and then just go bankrupt at the end of it, and then hope to God that the game forgives me and doesn't just, like, instantly end my game because again i don't know what happens in foreclosure considering the game can barely manage uh working shelves i don't know if they've actually like processed like a foreclosure or bankruptcy like i don't know what they did what happens does my game completely end do they just take away my stock do they take away my stock and my furniture do they does the foreclosure go to minus one I have no idea so here's what we're gonna do and this is the official plan we're gonna go through every day make as much money until the end use that money to buy things but specifically not medications things like stands and then go deeper into debt and see what happens at the end of foreclosure if at the end of foreclosure what happens is i lose my entire pharmacy well honestly i won't even be mad about it i'll just be like you know that was the first run of the pharmacy we will try again when the game is less broken. If it lets me continue, then hey, sick. We can continue playing this broken and fun game.